What is this? Christmas, Paul? It looks like he's been. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Welcome to our New Zealand haul. Oh my gosh. We have enough to fill probably two suitcases, which is just as well we brought four with us. Paul, you are going to take us through some of the items that you bought first. Well, I couldn't really pass up on these ankle socks that say New Zealand on them. I do always like buy ankle socks whenever I do get the opportunity. So these are for size 11 feet. So they have different designs on them. So this one has that um, leaf-like image that depicts New Zealand. And then this other one also has it but it's in a different style we were on such a mission to find an auckland calendar when we went to i forgot where we went but we did stumble upon this beauty i think it was at paper plus so this will remind us of, of all the great places that we have visited while in Auckland. I'm an avid collector of these. Oh, how would you say? That? So these are iron patches for you to iron onto like a rucksack or like a backpack or things like that. I haven't done it just yet, but I will do it at some point. <laughs> so that's why I'm collecting these. When we went to the Sky Tower, I saw these key rings and I thought yeah this is quite fetching um so this is like a sky tower like many different colors this is there's like a there's one of the sky tower all by itself back here and then this one is a bottle opener yes we picked up this fridge magnet um this is quite quirky the kiwis are out and they're and their little feet are hanging down. So it's kind of like dangling. So that's quite cute. We also bought this flag of New Zealand to hang around at home to make us remember the good times that we did have here. So that's why we bought this flag. This t-shirt I bought from Global Culture. What, so this is, so I think that shows the sailing and the aquatic life that is here in Auckland. Um, it's of a picture of an ice lolly and it says Auckland Global Culture New Zealand. So there's this one. And then I went to Rod and Gun, and the lovely Jess helped me out in Newmarket. Um, so I like this color because I don't really have anything like this. So this would be nice to wear back at home. So this t-shirt is from a company called as color or as color i'm not sure what the actual pronunciation is but the salesperson said that these clothes are similar to the ones from american apparel so this is because of the various colors that are available to the customer While we went to Waiheke Supply Company, I was kind of, um, not lured, but I was tempted by two pairs of shorts. They are stretchy, like I did try them on and 
It's super comfortable and hopefully very long lasting because the salesman said that these are the top sellers in his store. In addition to that, I bought this t-shirt of these flying birds and then they make up the map of New Zealand, which I think is very, very fetching and is very stylish, I believe. Marcus also bought a t-shirt like this in two colors, in olive green and also in this lovely blue. While we went to Whitcoles, I found a very interesting reusable carrier bag um, and it has the map of New Zealand and I think this is also a very good accessory to have and it also says NZ on this outer bag. While I was in there, I do like to look at foreign books, especially in English speaking language. And I came across this book, which I thought was very interesting and it's called The Drinking Game. This book is written by Gaian Espiner. So Gaian Espiner investigates how alcohol is being marketed to people in New Zealand. But I think this is also true in other countries like the UK and also the US, which is why I decided to pick up this book because I think this is going to be a very informative read and hopefully alter the way that I think about alcohol as well. I'm not going to bore you with everything that I bought because I, I would be here till next year. But lastly, this is a reusable carrier bag made with this tough material and the reason I was attracted to it was because it shows two Kiwis eating their lunch, I believe, or pecking on the ground. So I think this is, was a really good haul and this, and this bag will also make me remember New Zealand forevermore. So onwards to you, Marcus. Well, I got some friends while we were here. In New Zealand, there are four or maybe even five times the number of sheep to humans. And I just had to get a New Zealand sheep. And isn't she pretty? Look. And of course, you can't leave New Zealand without having a kiwi. So they are furry birds, they don't have feathers, and they make a very unusual noise. This one's rather quiet, aren't you? So we got one in a little bag that would prove to be a little bit noisier. It's a New Zealand native kiwi. Now I needed some t-shirts just to wear while I was here for the last couple of days because I was running out. We were originally thinking we would do laundry yes. while we were here, but then decided not to. And I picked up these two just from a discount store and they're just like everyday type t-shirts. And I like this one because it says oh, no. New Zealand and it also has a lovely kiwi. And this other one, I liked it because it's got New Zealand in the shape of the country there. And it also says I Aitaroa, which is the way which is the way that they say oh, yes. Aitaroa for New Zealand uh, for the Maori. Indeed, so that's very important. Now of course I like to get food stuff while I go away. And I'm a big fan of tea and I discovered Twining's New Zealand oh, breakfast tea. I didn't even know that you bought that. Yes, yes, yes. Now we're only showing you a selection of things that would take all day to actually go through absolutely everything that we got. But these are just sort of the highlights. Whitaker's is the big chocolate company here and it rivals Cadbury's. Now we did get some Cadbury stuff, um, although it's made mostly in Australia and Tasmania. But Whittaker's is a New Zealand company. 
So the original sort of um, standard chocolate is creamy milk, and I have eaten a bar of this, and uh -huh. I can attest that it is delicious. And then you have to get hokey pokey. I've never even heard mm. of hokey pokey, so it's got sort of crunchy bites in it. So it's a bit like a crunchy bar um, in milk chocolate as well, I believe. Yes, it says hokey pokey pieces in creamy milk chocolate. We always get coffee when we go away. So I saw this brand, Robert Harris from New Zealand, and it's an Italian roast. So we'll look forward to having that with our breakfast, maybe even with my breakfast tea as well. And I always pick up a deodorant <laughs> because um, for a while you couldn't get sure in the UK because it had been made in Russia and they had to change the contract. So I had to stock up. And any time that I saw something that was made by the same company, I would pick one of those up. So this has got the sure sign. It's Rexona and it's made by Unilever. So I just thought, well, I'll try one of those. On to biscuits, chit chat. I don't know if that is a big name here, but I think it probably is. It says, we know our chit when it comes to a good chat. Oh. And it says, sweet as, kiwi as. So sweet as is one of the sayings they say when it's, something's good. Um, Tim Tams from Arnott's. Now I have seen these before. I think you can get some of these in the UK. Uh, this is the chewy caramel one. We also bought the original. We also um, bought the original. And this is like a digestive biscuit with milk chocolate, milk chocolate wheaten from Griffins, which is also another big store over here, I believe. Another one from Griffins. When I say store, I mean brand. Um, Hokey Pokey Swiggles. So it's crunchy cream, hokey pokey flavoured deliciousness. And you can see what the biscuit is like there. Now what we did find was that there is not a huge range of crisps or potato chips over here. Um, there are very, very few flavours. Now maybe if you go to other parts of New Zealand, there is a bigger variety. But the big name seems to be Bluebird. It says proudly NZ made, and it's even got a kiwi I've just discovered in oh, there too. Nice. Well, it is a blue bird. But this is one of their little penguins, which we saw at the zoo. Um, so this is the chicken flavour, and they also do a ready salted and an original flavour, which I guess is plain. Um, but we hunt it high and low for, for crisps, especially multi-packs. And uh, these these are single serve packs, but yeah, not easy to find. So we picked up what we could. When we go away, I always like to pick up some soap. Um, I'm not so big on getting clothes anymore. When I get clothes, it's more practical uh, because of my shape. It's difficult. So, but soap is something that I can enjoy a bit more. So this one, Triumph and Disaster, is a big name. And I got this on Waiheke Island at the same shop where Paul oh. bought those uh, t-shirts and shorts. And I got it for half price. It was fifteen ninety five. I got it for um, something. $8 something, which was only about four pounds. And it smells really nice. In fact, all these do. I wouldn't pick one up if it didn't. This one is made by Weaver Tree and London. And it is beach smelling so oh. it's actually from australia it says it's from epping victoria happy days at the beach warm golden sand clean fresh breezes and an endless blue ocean all captured in our fabulous beach soap bars and it is really nice and then i just sort of get some standard bars as well so this is protex i'm not sure what name it is if it's a big name popular name but it's got a nice smell. So some of these were rather cheap. This one and this one was probably the most expensive. Oh, and Paul just passed me over this uh, Rotorua mud. So this is from the volcano, the volcano. Right? yes. And it might not smell as pretty as the other ones, but it's probably going to do a lot of good. 
All right, I did find some additional products during Marcus's revelation of things that he bought. So one of the things that I also found is this New Zealand tea towel. I think you have to zoom into the picture. So it shows, I believe, kiwi in their wildlife habitat. And I think, like I said before, I just want to, a reminder of this whole experience. I am obsessed with my lip care products. So one is Apicare and then the other one is Manuka Health. They're both made using Manuka Honey. Manuka Honey is a very local product produced by the bees here. So I do want to get the added benefits of these products. And I believe there is SPF also included. So those will help my lips in the summer and winter months. I found this very interesting. Um, a delicioso yakitori chicken and shallots. I think this is a Japanese inspired type of flavor and Japanese and Asian food is very big in New Zealand. So it only makes sense that there is a product that will cater to those tastes. So I think this would be very good to have. Oh, and it is also gluten-free and it's also produced locally in New Zealand. So that's also an added benefit to trying out these things. I couldn't, I couldn't pass up this Pam's favorites. I think I liked the way it looked in the packaging and I liked also the fact of it being in this plastic tray so that hopefully it will give it some protection from the travel back to the UK. But yeah, I'm looking forward to tucking into them. I think I might get a little bit more. Um, hopefully the suitcases aren't gonna be too heavy, but yeah, I think I'll maybe get one or two more varieties. OMG, have we ever seen anything like this before? These are Pringles minis, sour cream and onion. So that then if you, because the traditional one, you have to pop it open and then you end up eating the whole thing or most of it. <laughs> I know I do. So I think this is a good way to take some to work or have it at home without the added feeling of guilt. Oh, I finished the whole pack. Hopefully that isn't going to be the case. And hopefully we won't finish this whole packaging in one sitting. And there's another brand. Well, I don't really know what this brand is. I think it might be, well, these are chalky wheats. So these are kind of like chocolate digestives and yeah I think it's always good to try local products so that's what we're doing with this and I thought who doesn't like a little bit of fabulicious yeah I, I think I said it right Fabu fabulicious so these are mixed flavor type of sherbets and they're kind of like fizzy when you put it into your mouth and you chew them so then there's like an, an explosion of flavors. So I think this might also be a good find that we have made. Just while Paul is tidying everything up, I thought I'd show you this. It is Golden Churn Creamery Butter. And I picked this up at the Sky Tower and it was on sale. It was, um, I think it was about eight or nine dollars. And it's in a can, so it will last, it'll keep for the journey home, and I can have some lovely New Zealand butter on my toast. How on earth are we going to fit all this stuff into our four suitcases, along with all our clothes and everything else? 
that we brought with us? I have no idea. I have no idea, but I think that we will get there eventually. And I just wanted to also say thank you for watching our haul special from Auckland, New Zealand. If you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button for those that haven't subscribed already. We also like your likes and comments, so keep them coming as well. How do we play this? <laughs> You've got your fingers over the hole. Oh, do I have to do it this way? <laughs> You're just a big blow. <laughs> where, where do I blow? Here or here? Yeah, there. <laughs> You're going to wake up the neighbors. <laughs> okay, I, I should pipe it down now. And we'll see you next time again. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot, I also bought this at the Waiheke Central Supply Company. I think I called this something else. So yeah, I think this hat is, is big enough for my big head.